So, you want to know how to create pretty unique and interesting maps in Songs of Six? Well, look no further, because in this video, I'll be giving away several methods of doing so. Towards the end of the video, I will also give a guide on how to edit river width, island density, mountain size, lake size, and many more, so be sure to stick around for that. Please note that this method does not involve any coding knowledge at all. Let's begin. Number 1. The Peninsula. This one is pretty simple but unexpected. So what you want to do is find a straight piece of coastline and draw a river close up parallel to the body of water you're next to. This is one of my favourite maps to play as this limits the need for water pumps further reducing labour cost. Ideally, this is great for fortified positions, roleplay wise, with easy access to fish and fresh water for farming. It also gives you a challenge in terms of space planning as well. Number 2. The Canyon. Now, making a U-shape with rivers is pretty easy. However, there are ways of making this look even better. So what I'm going to do is draw a river like this, and then what I'm going to do is place one lake tile in one of the corners and connect this lake with deltas. Now what the deltas and lake is going to do is add more variety to the shape of the river. For instance, when you're playing on this map, you could pretend to be the Byzantine Empire and build the Great Theodosian Wall between the two rivers, defending your reconstruction of Constantinople. Number Three, the archipelago. First, what you want to do is draw a 2 by 5 river on the map. The next stage is optional, but if you want, you can also add mountains to one side to make it look like the mountains are draining into, the, into this body of water. Upon entering the map, you should see a series of large islands. One of the things that you'll notice is that some of these islands are diamond shaped, as it looks unnatural. However, it's still visually better than using small rivers to achieve the same effect. So yeah, that's how you can create a map with a lot of large islands for you to build your city on. On to the next option. Number 4. The Fjord. Okay, so for this one, what you want to do is place three or more lake tiles in one corner where you will build your city. You then want to place a river three tiles in a line at the other end of your city map. Make sure the river doesn't continue onwards on both sides. What this is going to do is create a long narrow lake. You can then place mountains in between the gaps. Just make sure that they don't get any larger than 2x2 two two tiles, otherwise you'll block useful areas of the map. Feel free to convert one of the rivers into an ocean with a river delta if you feel like it, and the finished result should be a series of lakes in between mountains. If this generation doesn't work, you might need to refresh the map or reconsider your mountain positions, because singular mountains have a habit of connecting together, but this is all random of course. Number 5. Ohio. They say anything crazy can happen in Ohio. Well, this is the case for this map as well. So what you want to do is find a straight coastline with a zigzag river like this or make it yourself. Then what you want to do is place one ocean tile in one of the corners of the river. The final step is to place three mountains around the small ocean tile. Make sure not to place four by accident otherwise they'll connect together and you won't get a crater. And it should look like a meteor has crashed into your city, creating a lake and diverting its river. You can also use this map to simulate symbolize apartheid between Tilapis and Garfimi if you feel like it, if that's the kind of person you are. Finally, the easiest way of altering terrain generation settings. It might be useful to first enter Steam and to open your local game files. This is to see how everything is nested and set up, but the file you're most likely looking for is under Base, Data, Data Again, Assets, Init, Configure, and then it's under Generation Settlement. When opening Generation Settlement, you can see the multipliers of different features of map generation, which can be edited later. Do not edit this for now, instead make a copy and create a new tab. The next thing you want to do is go to your hard drive or OS and find users, find your own name or whatever your PC is called. Make sure you have enabled hidden folders to be viewed. Go to app data, then roaming, then songs of six, then mods, and then within mods, 
you create a new folder of any name you wish and create a text file exactly like this. Make sure that the text looks exactly like this. This is essential. Later on, you can edit anything that's in the quotation marks or game versions. You can edit this as well. Once you've done this, create a new folder and name it V69 or V68 whatever game version you're planning to play on. Inside V69, what you want to do is create exactly these folders shown on screen. Make sure that the capital letters are exactly what's shown on here as well. Inside saves, you also need these folders with nothing inside. Once you've sorted this out, go into assets, create a folder called init, and then within init, create config and in there you should be able to paste the text file that was shown earlier. In here you can alter these settings however you like, but there is a warning. If you make these numbers too big or too small, your map will look very glitchy with random lines. And here are the results. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like as it tells YouTube that, that more people may want to watch this. If there are any videos you'd like me to make, please let me know down in the comments and I'll see you next time. See ya.